here's my board track racer tribute bike that has been mentioned on Chris's website all the gear no idea where he's done a little bit of machining for me he made these um, collars which hold the rear hub on and he's also done some machining here for me on this basically jack shaft which will have the chain from here to the back sprocket and on the other side which I'll turn around and show you later I'm going to have a pulley with like a slip clutch to the engine this engine is a 98cc lawnmower engine which started off pretty much like that as a Suffolk Punch 35S lawnmower I'll strip that down put it into this the whole idea started from a flat tank replica tank I bought off eBay it's only a fiberglass tank but it was the starting point to get me the size of the frame length of the frame coming down here so this started off as a mountain bike ladies mountain bike the only things I've kept original really is this tube here to these back forks here these were cut here reformatted re-angled top pipe tube remade there into the headstock forks are original but then I put on some fake springer forks Gerda forks if you like um, front wheel the original mountain bike wheel but this hub is off an early British um, post office bike which is a Sturmey Arn Archer brake so I'm going to do some work on that so that hub was then recently re-spoked into this wheel here and then these tyres quite impressed with you can see there it says on them fat frank and have a nice sort of tread pattern to them which is sort of pretty in keeping with the idea of what it wanted the seat made from scratch completely it's just a made it up as I went along Put a sort of a T-shaped cross on it there. Some aluminium. Just basically beat the heck out of it. It's a bit crude, but it sort of fits the idea of what I'm looking for. So what I'm going to do now? Going to do a little bit more work on this jack shaft here get the cogs and the pulleys on the other side get it on the bench um, and then show you what I can do with the rest of it oh yeah the, the other thing I did I got a twist throttle from an old bike from a bike meet I went to auto jumble and then that's geared up there so the to the throttle of the motorbike engine. Um, so let me get it on the table and we'll have a look on the other side. Um, obviously something else to point out. Something else to point out is obviously I didn't start with this. The bike's taken a while to get here. What I'll do I'll uh, I'll put a little montage on of still photographs I've taken while the bike was being developed to get it to this point and then you can see where we are and then I'll from then on I'll run little video updates to show how to get it running okay thanks
Okay, go to look on the bench now. As you can see, I've got the chain on the back. Okay, unfortunately, the chain isn't quite long enough. Waiting for another one to come in the post. And you can see this side. This is where I've got my drive from the engine. So this is roughly we're thinking it's going to be about 3,000 RPM the engine. And by the time I get to the back wheel, I need to drop it down significantly from that. So it's a ratio of one to three here. Same on the other side. Uh, the ratio of one to three. So that should drop it down enough to get it as a fixed gear of about 25, 30 miles an hour. Which should be terrifying enough. Um, you can see I've got a bit of slack on the chain here, on the belt rather. The idea with this is, this is going to be the slip. And I'm going to make a pulley, either pushes down on here, or pulls up on here, to create some tension with the lever up here, uh, which I'll lock in, and then that will be the clutch. Or I might just run it, same again, the, idle wheel here pushing down with a cable up to a, a lever here or like a normal clutch that might be easy to operate at the moment what I want to look at today is working out how to start the engine even though the engine is much prettier now I've got the sort of lawnmower cover off I've got an issue with how to start it um, I've been ripping it wrapping a cable around here and just pulling it problem is if it doesn't start easily, you can be doing that 20 30 times and um, just not get anywhere. Next thing I want to look at is on the original lawnmower engine, there's fins on here for cooling. I just roughly cut all these off, but I think it might be out of balance now, which creates a bit of vibration in the engine, which I'm going to have a look at. So, yeah, I think I'm going to take this off, put the one. On this little more engine on, which is this cover here, so I can do the pull start and um, maybe take the pulley off on there, the flywheel cover, the magneto cover, try that on, show it works, balance, and take it from there. So I'm going to try that now. You can see this is where I machined all the fins off, polished it, and this is an original one with all the cooling fins on. So I'm wondering if I've introduced a misbalance into the engine by cutting these off. So I'm going to put this one back on the engine, um, just swap it over, just got to run that nut off there, swap this over, put the cover on, which is on the floor there, so I'm going to do a pull start and uh, try that, so I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I've got the cover back on and the pull cut start. Got a temporary tank on, the fuel line. I've got to run it too late because it's actually, you can't see outside, but it's half ten at night. But this is England and it's pretty unusual. It's 18 degrees, which is uh, very unusual for England. Anyway, Let's see if we can get it to fire up just for a short period because it is after a night. Alright, cram it a little bit. Put some bleed on, that always helps. tonight. 